Sup, friends and, and fellas, it's your, it's your boy, Bricky, here, of course, today. I want to wish you an excellent uh, Monday today, and also a happy uh, MLK, Martin Luther King Day, for those of you as well. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I have just come back from Hacks. I'm actually recording this Monday morning. I'm going to upload it immediately when I finish recording it. But I have just came back from San Antonio, Texas, from Hacks South, and I finally kind of got the chance to settle down. I got my coffee, of course, Pete's Breedy Blend, not sponsored, but fuck if I, I wish I was. Ah, oh, delicious. Um, of course, I'm still on the Warframe grind because that's just what I do at this point in time. That's all I do anymore. I've been farming for Harrow. The Harrow, either the systems or whatever the hell it is, by doing all these defection missions. And honestly, this fucking sucks. This is stupid. It's like an 8% chance on tier 2. That's dumb. This entire shit is dumb. It's it's dumb, okay? I don't I don't like this stupid farming for this specific character whatsoever. But anywho, that being said, Pack South was a very fun time. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. It wasn't as big as Pax East or West, and it certainly uh, wasn't as many people, which is actually kind of a nice and a not nice thing. I liked not having to be shoulder to shoulder bumping into people the entire time, but at the same time, I'm also like, you know, it would have been nice to just kind of have a little bit of a, you know, a little bit more more people to interact with, or or, or perhaps a couple more booths or something like that, because it was definitely smaller. It was without a doubt smaller than the average average uh the average expected packs like normal so that is, that is a little bit of a, a downside to it but I, I appreciate the not being shoulder to shoulder more so if i had to choose the best one i'd say boston boston was absolutely incredible and i like boston as a city san antonio isn't too bad honestly it's okay um, not my favorite of the Texas cities I've been to. I've been to Houston, Austin, and San Antonio total. I think Austin is kind of my favorite. I just really, really enjoy Austin, and it's fun. It, it's kind of not very Texas-y, you know? But I still got a chance to do some cool things. I went to that giant circling uh, restaurant in San Antonio, which is really fun. I did the river walk a little bit, had some nice nice food. It was very cool. I got to meet some great people. I struck up a conversation uh, at a nice restaurant with a uh, Infinity War developer uh, and a nev uh, ex Neversoft developer who worked on the old Tony Hawk games back in the day. They were incredibly nice people to talk to. It was wonderful having some conversations with them. It was very interesting getting a little bit more of an insight into the gaming industry and stuff and it was it was very fun. I enjoyed myself. And the fan meetups, dude! It's so cool. Every single time I do any kind of new fan meetup it feels so awesome because I'm literally seeing in real time how my channel is growing from my first fan meetup from the first time I ever really saw fans to begin with over in summoners com where I met like eight people into this one I took a picture of it on Twitter of um, of myself and all the fans and that was like a third of the people I met a lot of people started pouring in and even them the fan meetup itself was super fun. Some people came just to take pictures. Some decided to stick around and talk a little bit. But I gotta, I gotta appreciate one thing for all of you who joined me at PAX. None of you followed me around. Thank you so much for that. It's, it's always that possibility because, you know, once we take pictures and talk a little bit when the fan meetup's over, sometimes, it doesn't happen a lot, but sometimes you have a little posse that follows you around. It doesn't happen to me very much because I'm obviously not super huge, but certain really big people will just have this giant posse of fans that follow them around. It's kind of just like, come on, dude, I want to I wanna do my own thing, you know? And I'm glad none of you did that, and that's awesome, and I appreciate that very, very much, so thank you, thank you. Um, but it was still a massive pleasure to meet everyone, and also, Sunday, before I left, I was able to get the chance to play a lot of Smash Brothers with, with uh, some fans. I went to the uh, the console LAN uh, area, and I played a bunch of Smash Brothers, and it was so much fun. Got to fight some some cool people, got to play some, some good games. It, Man, it was, it was a very excellent uh, time for fan interaction, most definitely. I enjoyed myself immensely when it came to the, came to the fan interaction. That is incredibly nice. And it's, uh, it's been good. It's, it's been good, and, but it's, now, it's nice to be home, of course. Uh, it's always nice to be home. Back to my bed, back to the usual, but it was... A thoroughly enjoyable time. I got some cool stuff. I got new headphones. I don't know if you could tell with the red there or not, but the new headphones are uh, the HyperX Cloud Alphas. Um, I normally use, not sponsored, gotta mention that. Um, I normally use the Cloud 2s, 
However, the Cloud 2s, um, I was wondering, like, hey, I, well, I walked to the booth, and I was like, hey, guys, you got anything new? And they're like, yeah, we just unveiled the, the Cloud. I need something to better with the, my fucking melee mods are not good. Um, yeah, we just got these Cloud Alphas, which are, like, the next step up. And using them right now, I haven't plugged into my Cloud 2 adapter, so it has, like, the really easy uh, volume settings and stuff. But they're pretty good. You know, they're not a huge improvement over the uh, Cloud 2s, to be perfectly honest. Um, they're, 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 pretty, they're pretty damn good, don't get me wrong. But uh, they're not, like, massive overall huge improvement. They're not 7.1 or anything crazy. But uh, they do have this really nice base to them. They're basically like Cloud 2s if Cloud 2s had better sound quality and really good bass. That's basically what they are. And honestly, I'm pretty okay with that because they sound pretty incredible. It's very... Actually, I wonder what happens if I use my Saren Ultimate. Ooh. Uh, it wasn't super bassy, but it does sound really, really good. No, that, that, that is... That does sound, sound really good, actually. Uh, I recommend these. I think they're 100 bucks, but um, they were 80 at the convention, so I got them there. I also got myself a uh, set of really nice, fancy dice. D&D &D dice. They're like special aluminum-based dice. I guess that's the... It's the material that's... Okay, I don't know how I'm missing these uh, people, but... Uh, um, I, they're like special aluminum that's made, uh, for aircraft or some things, what they mentioned. I don't know. They're a little expensive, but they're, they're weighted practically perfectly. They're perfectly weighed on every side, so they're the most fair dice you could possibly use. Um, so it's really cool to have those. They're pink because, you know, you know me. But, yeah, it's been, it's been wonderful. It's been an excellent weekend. It was fun, and I am excited to definitely, you know, do it again and, any other major conventions. Now, the next PAX is going to be PAX East over in, over in Boston in April, which I am extremely excited about. I hope to see many of you there as well. But until then, your boy Bricky's back on the grind. We decided to do Widowmaker for the next one trick guy. For the next fast frame, I think we're gonna do Ember or Saren. Not sure yet. I love Saren, but uh, you know, Ember's pretty cool too. So either of those is pretty damn pretty damn solid. One of those will be the uh will be the one that I definitely want. Past that, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. I think we're going to do Shivana for the next uh, So I Want to Main video, but I'm not sure if that's exactly what I want to do. It's just, a, it's just a thought process, so maybe, but, you know, I, this, this Ember is insane. Maybe, but we're not entirely sure on that one. And past that, well, I only got three more killers left for Dead by Daylight series. I've got... What is it? Uh, next up is Leatherface. After that is going to be Billy, and after that is Freddy, and then I am literally done. I have no no more left. That is every single killer. Until they add a new one, whichever it might be, you know. Uh, which could be pretty interesting. I'm kind of curious to see how it's going to go. But uh, until then, yeah. That's kind of the, uh, that's kind of the big, the big schedule going on right now. That's what's been going on as of late, and it, it's been it's been very cool to have this schedule. It's nice to be able to make videos that I want to at the time. There's a screaming grenier in here somewhere, but nice to make the videos that I want to make at the time that I want to make them. You know, I, I finally got into a really nice nice setting. I, I, mean, I can finally sit in there. And a lot of you have been. Oh, one more thing I did want to mention. I'm trying to keep this entire video one take, just because I think it's better to be able to learn how to ramble at, in one time without too many mistakes or issues. But a lot of you have been requesting a For Honor series, and, and surprisingly, For Honor gets a lot of views. Like that little warden duel, the whole video I made just last week got a lot of views. And I'm, I'm just, I don't know if For Honor is getting. A larger audience again if they're getting new players I don't know if they're getting you know if the game is getting is getting more people playing it I don't know if perhaps I just have a very large for honor fan base and like watching me play I, I don't know what the reason is but it's getting a lot of views and that's pretty cool but specifically a lot of you've been asking for a for honor series and there are two things that are a little bit problematic with that kind of series the first thing is that I am not me mechanically great at every ca uh, character. Uh, even just the knight fact. Okay, well, first thing is I only play knights. I literally only play knights. I have barely touched at all any other person from the Viking or the Samurai. As cool as some of them may be, I've literally just... Never touch them because I just I want to play my knights. You know, I've got a, like rep Ted Warden, rep seven conk, rep two PK, rep twenty one lawbringer, hell yeah, rep one centurion, like a rep five gladiator. Um, so you know, I only play knight characters, it's all I do. And so, if I were to make a video, it would only be on the knights. 
So, because I would, I don't, I don't know. Part, part of me now is kind of like I don't want to make a video on anyone else because it just kind of seems like it's fun to only do it on the nights now, just for the hell of it. But honestly, it's just a little bit. I don't know. It's a, it's a little bit problematic because I can't do a video on every single character in that in that sense. So that does become a little bit of a problem, you know. Uh, and, and not even and even then, like I don't know enough about Centurium to really make a. Vi I'm stuck down here. To really make a video about him, I don't really know enough about the PK to really make a video about her, probably. I don't know. It's it's one of those, like, mm, I'm not sure about this kind of, uh, kind of things that goes on with the, with the game. I'd like to, but I don't really know, you know? It's, uh, it, uh I don't know. I don't know how I would do the series or anything. It could be problematic. I, I'm consi I consider it, but I'm already doing a lot of series right now, and along, I mean, look at it right now. So you want to main, fast frames, one trick guides, um, uh, Dead by Daylight uh, case files, and I just finished the silver guides. Just now finished the silver guides. So, honestly, I think, I think it might be good to not do too many guides for a little bit before everything goes... You know, let me, let me finish a few. If anything, let me finish the uh, the Dead by Daylight ones because those are at least going to be a lot easier. Because uh, I only have three left, so in three more weeks. So may maybe, maybe I'll do those. I'm not sure yet, possibly. But anyway, that's all I really wanted to say today. I have no idea if I'm going to get this stupid Harrow chess piece or systems or whatever it might be. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I have no idea. But. At the current moment, I'm trying my goddamn best. But anyway, of course, before I go, there are a couple things I want to hit you with. First things first, it is Monday. I want to hit you with that Loot Crate advertisement. If you want to look at any of the themes this week, they are or this month, they are very, very nice. There's some really fun games in there. I highly recommend checking out. And of course, like usual, the best way to support your boy Bricky is through the purchase of Loot Crate using LootCrate.com slash Bricky and promo code Bricky. Besides that, of course, did I, did I, say I'm I have to say I'm sponsored. That's like legally I have to say that. I don't remember I don't remember if I've already said it enough, but you, you know you know you know the sponsor. But besides that, of course, before I go, even though there weren't many streams this last weekend because of PAX, I do have a Twitch clip of the week for you. Either way, I hit my microphone, I'm so sorry. And I will see you next Monday and through the videos throughout the week. Bye bye. Me wow. 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 Slut. Me wow. Me wow. No. Me wow. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Levang, okay? Excuse you?